from Houston, where the crowd is on their feet. Well, we can finally say it. The NBA regular season is about to get underway. And here at 2K Sports, we couldn't be happier. This is Kevin Harlan alongside Clark Kellogg and Greg Anthony. Houston Rockets here at home, and an interconference matchup should be a good one. A look at Atlanta's opening lineup. Teague and Corver are the guards. Paul Millsap out there with Horford, and it's Splitter in at the five spot. How about the way he's able to angle his body to shield the big fella off and still get the finish? You've got to be clever with your sleight of hand when you get inside and try to finish against the bigger guys. And he made it, he, he made it look easy that time. Shot by Terry, no good. Well, you know, Hall of Famer and three-time champion Kevin McHale, the Rockets coach, did nothing but find success and win as a player. And, you know, that's been the same song for him as a coach. Horford, no luck. And so it's Houston with it. Ariza with the bucket. On defense, the Rockets. Outside T. And Jones pulls it down. Look at the last game for the Atlanta Hawks. It was a win against New Orleans. Harden kicks to Howard. And it's sent back by Horford. Terry against T. And the rebound goes to the Rockets. Those are chances almost always you can rely on him to get you two points, but the D just enough to keep him out of rhythm. Terry kicks to Jones. Here's Harden. Here's Harden on the wing. That's not as easy as he made it look, guys. You've got to have some skills to pull that baby off. Well, he's got plenty of those skills <laughs> necessary. And you know what? Man. That man can climb a ladder. And they're one of five to start this game. Just really haven't gotten into a flow offensively. Wow, that's a really smooth finish. That's why we and they always love seeing him at the end of those breaks. He makes it look fun and easy. The Rockets making a switch here. Beverly's checked in. Here's Schroeder. Out to Hardaway. The pass to Muscala. Knocked away. And out of bounds as the Rockets gain possession. Well, Kevin, we've got a moment now to look back to last year's Atlanta Hawks. Second in assists. Second in three-point field goal percentage. And they also showed up in the top five in shooting percentage. This is a team that knows how to execute its offense and get good shots. And from those assist numbers, you can see this was a very unselfish team. Their passing was really infectious and made them a tough team to defend. Clark, one thing about the Hawks last year is they were very strong on the road, as you could have guessed. Yeah, but Kevin, they struggled a little bit down the stretch on the road, but still managed to have the best road record in the East. And that one goes in as he is fouled. It'll be three points if he converts at the line. And how about that road record for the Hawks? 25 and 16 last season. Nine of those wins came during that 19-game winning streak in early 2015. Ariza with the bucket. Ariza's got his second basket of the night. You know, they've scored several times already here in the first quarter down low. I like that. It's like a running game in football. When you can pound the basketball inside, it also allows you to control the team's transition. Boy, you look at the Hawks, and they seem to be built to play on the road because they can survive a player having an off game. They're so deep and versatile. Team basketball is a lot less prone to go cold when you're on the road. Schroeder kicks to Scott. Well, time pass, and he goes straight to the bucket for the layup. Scott's got his first basket. And he just big-boyed it right there. The height. Oh, that jam. I mean, just 
beautiful. He has a highlight reel unto himself, guys. Yeah, wow. That, that could very well be a contender for dunk of the year <laughs> and perhaps might make its way all over the internet. Uh, I'll tell you what, that is the crowd pleaser of all crowd pleasers. Jason Terry, he's checked in for Houston. And the Hawks will go for a different look here. Splitters checked in for Mike Muscala. Millsap comes in for Cephalosha. Kyle Corver, he's checked in for Hardaway. And it's Teague in for Dennis Schroeder. That was a good rebound right there, but they haven't been very strong on the glass so far. Mark, a little disparity there in the rebound numbers, but some of that comes down to how the ball bounces. Let's see if it evens out. Patrick Beverly, he's checked in for Jason Terry. And it's slammed in by Splitter. Elevates and powers in the one hand. Ah, textbook. Yeah, and I'm glad, guys, he doesn't go overboard on that one and get a little too fancy. And the shot counts. He's fouled, and it's a chance for a three-point play. The Rockets shooting their first free throw of the game right now. Yeah, last season, around 71% of the free throws made and you know what that has to be a point of emphasis this year and it's something they know that if they improve can really have a big impact on their success there's 39 seconds left in the first quarter of the game and the jam by Harden boy he threw out some punishment with that two hand throw down and Clark now's the time to do it continue to attack that rim Oh, Maestro, he is so good at making those lead passes, like conducting an orchestra. Terrific job that time defending at the rim. I mean, it's not an easy task stopping that fellow when he's headed to the bucket like that. Good job. It's Ariza on the wing. It's stolen by T. That's a two from Corver. The offense coming free and easy as we wrap up the first quarter. Rockets lead by four. And the second quarter about to get started. We'll be back in just a moment. All right, the second quarter beginning in just a moment. And a closer look here at the scoring breakdown for the Rockets. With the aggression they're showing early on, I mean, they're driving it to the hoop with authority and force. Yeah, they're showing some muscle also in the first half as well and, and getting a lot of their points in the paint. Really like the balance they've shown. And now let's check out the lineups courtesy of Gatorade. All fueled up and ready to go. Here's the second quarter of play. Taking a look at the Rockets. Ariza and Jones at the small and power forward. Terry and Harden are the one and two. And it's Howard in at the center position. Jones, the pass to Harden. And the call will be against Al Horford. That is his first foul of the game. You always hear about chemistry. That's a perfect example, knowing where each other is at all times. Here's what Atlanta's going with right now. Splitter is checked in for Cephalosha. Corver comes in for Kent Bazemore. And it's Teagan for Dennis Schroeder. The Hawks trail by four. Corver with it, and it's Howard picking him up. Inside, here's Horford. Yeah, and guys, right now, the defense mentally not there. Can't afford too many of those in a close game like this. Yeah, Jay, you're right. Almost a free run, don't you think? Clark with the hoop for him there. Momentum can swing on plays like that, Kevin, especially when the finish has that much thunder on it. The Houston Rockets are built around the three-point shot. Make no mistake about it, they set a record for a single season in teammate threes. They have so many guys that can hoist it up and hit. Yeah, and they all have the green light to do so. Last year, you talked about leading the NBA in percentage of shots from beyond the arc, and it wasn't even close. Here's Teague. James Harden picking up that last basket. Teague dishes the split up. And really nothing like a good old-fashioned throwdown to get a team going. And, Greg, they do need to get going. They wouldn't mind, you know, shaving a couple more points off that lead right away. 
Well, if the defense keeps giving up easy baskets like that, it won't be a lead for long. And the Rockets have lost out on some free agent wars the past few years. They have remained competitive, but you wonder what could have been if they landed or kept some of those big names. There we go, fans. Keep it going for your Rockets power dancers. The Hawks trail by seven. Teague drives in. He dishes it to Horford. And so he draws the foul on the shot. A trip to the line to shoot two. And with the Rockets, it's no secret that they take a very analytical approach to team building. Greg, you and I have talked about that. And Clark, you know, you wonder if that hurts them in free agency. Well, you know, when your front office makes no qualms about viewing players as simply just assets, it can be a hard sell to a free agent. And the Hawks making a change here. Hardaway's checked in. He power surged that one down. Mm, wow. Yeah, good oh, term to use. Man. One of the game's top dunkers for sure. Folks, that's not a petty. Not a manny. That's a facial. <laughs> <laughs> that's something they need to do more of. Get after it on the glass. Just go get those boys. Clark, it wouldn't hurt. Some extra possessions would definitely help narrow the gap and maybe swing the momentum. It's stolen by Ariza. And here comes Harden, leading the fast break. It's stolen by T. Oh, and a fast break for Atlanta. That one's in there. Rocket lead is cut down to seven on the bucket from Corver. The Rockets have gotten all but one of their seven shots in the second quarter to drop. Pretty impressive. Terry kicks to Jones. Howard drives in. It's tipped. Poked away. On the wing, Corver. In the corner, it's Splitter. Back to T. Pass to Splitter. Hawks passing it around. Parked down low that time, and he got the three-second call. A chance here to check out how the Rockets ranked in the NBA last season. Second in fast break points. Third in steals. And they also ranked among the top five in points off turnover, so did a nice job of turning people over and then turning those turnovers into points. And as you pointed out, when it came to running the break, I mean, they were terrific. They left teams really just grasping for breath and, and unable to match that breakneck pace. Howard, the pass to Jones. And that comes off the assist by Dwight Howard. Jones has got the lead up to nine now for the Rockets. And Teague, here we go. Horford. And the layup's good off the glass. Horford's got six. And, and I like the fact that he really was unfazed by that scoreless first quarter. And now you can see him getting into a rhythm. Boy, there's a little extra on that one, fellas. Nobody's going to stop that. Not when he comes in with the tomahawk. That's just too My much force. Goodness, you cannot punch it any harder than that. Harden outside. Four seconds on the clock. Great D that time from T. Boy, there was no hand in his face right there. I thought for sure he was going And to so we wrap up the first half. Houston on top, up by nine. And we'll be back 